Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to more Endless Scrap Mechanic. So, today's episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations is probably the most anticipated, most requested, and most time-consuming factory build in Scrap Mechanic. I've done a car factory, a tank factory, and a mech factory, and finally it is time for the airplane factory. Now, before we get started, guys, any likes on the video are greatly appreciated. I have put a ridiculous ridiculous amount of hours on this build alone and not even including the time it took to make this video as well with all of the editing and setting everything up so your guys' support would definitely mean a lot to me guys and if you aren't already subscribed to the channel uh, make sure you do that and maybe even turn on some notifications but now it is time to turn that frame into a plane.
Alright guys, so welcome to the Moonbow Avionics Workshop. So here we are with our plane factory. I have this little kind of statue thing on the outside here of our frame and complete airplane right there. Now, right now guys, I'm just going to show you a rundown of what I had to do to get this factory working. And I actually got a really good idea on how I'm going to show you guys that. Alright, so what I have done here is I have spawned in every evolution of the plane during the build process. So starting on the left here, we have the playing wire frame. And as you can see, as it progresses to the right, it gets bulkier and more and more built up. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go in inside this factory area. Now you can see I have a huge window carved out so that way we're gonna be able to hop in and out very quickly and seeing what's inside and comparing it to the plane that we actually see on the outside. And as we move along to the right what we're gonna do is we're gonna carry this wire frame around and I'm gonna kind of show you guys how it turned from this all the way down the line. So of course guys the entire factory does start with the wire frame. Now I did mount it to a plate there as you can see and that is just to keep it stable across the wheels. Now this plane here is the first one that you start the factory with. So what you can do is you can spawn it right there on that little spot. So that is the first station that you're going to be loading the wire frame into and that is like the welding station. So this part was fun to make but it was relatively simple. I didn't have any parts that I had to worry about as far as uh, you know making it fit or anything like that. So this was kind of just a little bit of fun. You can see we have some thrusters and they are welding this entire frame up guys you know it's going to be nice and sturdy for the plane build now you can easily just turn all of that off now like the other factories that i've done like the car factory and the tank factory uh, this has a conveyor belt system as you can see look at this one this one is actually really really long this took a long time to build guys uh, so you can see though that would just continuously progress down the line so the next station though is actually the uh this one right here now this is the front panel so like i said guys we're going to bring this one along with us so if we kind of just put this right there there we go so you can see we started with the wire frame and then it got added on with the panels so obviously i had to take the panels from the finished product and reverse engineer it all the way down so here we have the front ones that would have been mounted on those robot arms right there and the robot arms just kind of push it up against the build now what i have to do though is with some editing magic i swapped the planes out so we had the original one with the builds against it and then we swap it out for this one here where the builds are actually incorporated so now we're going to head back in though so after this station right here it moves along to the next station and i believe the next station there's like a little welding break in between for some fun and then the station after that is the rear paneling so you can see we have this one right here which is only the front paneling and the rest of the frame in the back and then the next evolution of it is this one here so this one has the front frame right there or sorry the front panels and now it has the rear panels and it has the wing frames as well as a little bit of the cockpit frames and some of the rear tail there as well now the longest process of this build was actually converting this little tiny wireframe let alone like making this kind of wireframe plane alone was really difficult this was a true test to my polygon abilities guys uh, but you can see the evolution there I tried to keep as much of it intact when you see it so you can really tell that it's all part of the same build so hopping back into the factory though after those stations right there it moves along to the top of the cockpit which is kind of like the canopy area there uh, now I'm just gonna run down this side right here I wanted to give you guys a quick example of some of these panels right so the way I do these is I build the actual creation first so this is the plane that works I had to kind of dumb it down a little bit so it's lag free but this is the finished product so I take this finished product and then I replicate parts I steal parts from it and I slowly degrade it down into the frame it took a really long time but this is an example guys I have like the front panel right there this is the cockpit one the the uh, canopy right there that we're looking at at the moment and then that's a rear panel so there's all sorts of loose parts and pieces that get put onto those decouplers so now moving down the line though we are going to bring the wireframe one step closer to the finished product now look at this guys so we started with this right here and we moved up to this right here so you can see the wings are still in their frame and they still have the rear tail there that has no cover on it and there's no wings on the back there either so after the canopy right there we move on to my favorite part and it is where we actually add the wings so you guys saw in the montage there the wings flip in and they cover up the framing 
Uh, so let's see here. Let's line it up just like so. Uh, now you can see, guys, there is an even bigger difference. So this is all wire frame. Now look over here. There's hardly any wire frame left. The only frame that's left is this rear tail section right here. Now you can actually see this is a slightly different version. This is just one little flat piece here. But over on this one, it is the full thickness. And the reason for that is because if we hop into this here, uh, you can see in the factory build, it moves along the line. And then the next one in the station is that rear tail. And that one was actually really fun and satisfying because what I did was, like I mentioned, I put it all on one side here like this on a flat surface. And then the tail was able to actually slide right in and cover it up. So it really gave a nice illusion of like covering it up with some type of sheet metal or something. And I was able to use a little more editing magic and it really pulled off the illusion. So once you get the wings put on and you get the rear tail put on as well, the next station is the fitted propeller. Now this one was kind of interesting actually because I realized these all already had the nose cone on them but they didn't have those prop blades so it was kind of an interesting situation so what I decided to do actually was incorporate that into the factory so we have a nose cone here that gets removed so obviously that was a little bit more editing magic but the nose cone comes up it removes that one right there and then at this station right here we had the loose propeller come down and connect to the plane so I guess that is the story of how we turned a wire frame into a plane so that is going to be today's episode of scrap mechanic creations guys I wanted to mention again this took a a really long time to build all of these iterations and evolutions of the plane the frame the factory editing the montage together to make it like a seamless factory it took a lot of time and effort so guys all of your likes are certainly appreciated and also guys if you have any ideas for future factory builds then put them down in the comments and once I have regained my stamina for factory builds I will do another one now guys if you do want to sign up for some endless scrap mechanic and you aren't already subscribed to the channel then be sure to hit that subscribe button and if you want to stay up to date with the latest coming from me then be sure to turn on notifications as well so thank you so much for tuning into that endless scrap mechanic and i will be seeing you in the next one so bye for now